Skyline, the Dragon, and the Playground Ride. Dragon, the Young Blue Dragon, live deep in the rock stone, smiling off scarlet every day. The playful young dragon woke up early in the morning. And flew all around the mountain, and really looking for something to do. When he was hungry, he would go home to his cave, where Mummy Dragon would have hot soup ready for his dinner. Wash your wings and get ready for tea. I made your favorite today, darling. Pea and toad soup. Said Mummy Dragon. Darling Sally. Uh, thank you, Mom. He, he said softly. Whatever is the Mother's son, every day you come back home happily for your tea. But today you look so sad," inquired Mummy Dragon. "I'm lonely, Mum. I can't find anyone to play with in、uh, all the lake, mountain." And valley in rock stone, there isn't a single dragon for me to play with. He grumbled. Well, how about this for an idea? Why don't you fly down to the village playground and see if? The children, they want to play with you. Tyler woke up bright and early the next day. He was very excited that he would soon have friends to play with every day. He put on his baseball cap and school tie. And flew past the valleys and mountain until he reaches the little village of Fenris. He greeted down to a passerby, asked for direction to the children's playground. That, that, that way pointed the. Quivering man! Oh, he must be called that Dylan. After all, humans don't breathe fire like dragons, so they must find it very difficult to keep warm. Not long after, Dylan the dragon came in. For a swift landing in the century of the playground, playground was filled with smart young children in bright red and gray uniforms, with their gold tie. Dylan took it out his tie and. Cleared his throat. He felt very well dressed for the the occasion. He was about to open his mouth to introduce himself when he suddenly heard a run. Is a dragon? He 
going to burn us alive! Yelled it one of the young boys. All the children ran frantically towards the exit and disappeared in no time. Dylan sighed sadly. All he wanted was some friend to play with, but clearly he was very scared of dragon. He flew home with his head. The next day, Dylan decided to try and make friend with the children in the. Playground again. He tucked it, his white handkerchief in his left gear, and scooped it up a large brain lying on the floor. He smashed in it into a white surrender so flag. He. Crowded the glass and hopped it. The children would give him another chance. Down he flew again into the center of the playground with his white surrender flag clenched in his jaw. I just want to play and be friend," he said softly. "How will you play with us?" shouted one of the girls. "You are too big for our swing and slide. You won't fit in our roundabout." Well, why don't I take? You are for a ride to the valleys and the mountain of rock star. Yay! Killed it. All the children at once. They climbed it onto Tallinn bike, and off the children went on a very excited fight. From that day, Dylan and the playground children were friends, and every day, Dylan the dragon would take the children on the best playground ride ever. The end. If you like the video. Keep subscribe. Bye bye. I love you.